Hey, what's up, guys? And today, um, I'm gonna I'm going to be talking about this main topic. I've gotten my friends saying, I've gotten other people saying, uh, hearing about it, and we're gonna try and decipher whether it will or will not happen. Will Fortnite be announced at the Nintendo E3 for the Switch 2018? Now, before I do get into the actual juice and meat of of the video, I do want to say that people, that people do have other opinions and other people have other opinions. But with my opinion, you know, you just gotta go with the video, right? So, my first, it's, it's kind of like a pros and cons list. It's got the pros and the cons of Fortnite being on the Switch. Now, if we look at the pros list, the pros of Fortnite being on the Switch is Fortnite can be portable now? Now, now with this, you have Fortnite on the Xbox, Fortnite on the PlayStation, and then Fortnite Mobile. But with Fortnite Mobile, sometimes you know it lags out. But then, if you have Fortnite portable on the Switch, you know it could be different, could be the same. You just never really know with those type of games and those type of and those types of consoles. It's just kind of weird. And that's basically just all of that, you know, you know, you, you, you don't really know if it's going to be portable or if it's just going to stay the same. And then we have, with Fortnite, it, like, the game itself, will the graphics change? Will something be different? You know, that's one of the main questions I've been getting a whole lot, is will things change in the entire game? Now, with my opinion, I firmly, firmly agree that it won't change, but, you, you know, as I said, you know, with those types of games and consoles and the producer and the developer and the director, you don't know if they're even going to announce it, cause we, because we all know games at, at like, the, at, at the Nintendo E3 2018 that will be announced because we've seen trailers for them, such as, like, Crash Bandicoot, which has already came out on the Switch. Uh, Smash, which has been a really big fan base nowadays. It's got Smash comments saying, like, Smash 2018, but then if you have, you know, Fortnite, you know, there have been rumors and people and kids saying, you know, okay, guys, so Fortnite's on the Switch. Well, it's not on the Switch. It can't be downloaded yet, you know. You know first you have, well, first you have to have confirmation. And you, uh, uh, you have to have a whole bunch of other things, too. But, but as I said, you don't have confirmation or you don't firmly know and there's just no point to it. But I think Fortnite should be on the Switch even though a lot of people I've met saying it shouldn't be on the Switch. You know, that's stupid. It should only be on like mobile, PlayStation, Microsoft. But in my opinion, I think it should because, you know, it could be a downloadable content or it could be like um, Breath of the Wild. It could be, it could have just like, well, but will Fortnite have some sort, of, some sort of expansion pass? That's, well, that's weird. Like, you know, with Breath of the Wild here, it's got, it's got this expansion pass where you get the Master Cycle Zero Champions, blah, 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 blah. But what if Fortnite had an expansion pass for some sort of extra game credit? Now, that, that would be nice, but as I said, you don't have confirmation. And same with other games too, you know, with like Mario Kart, you don't have confirmation on will there be an expansion pass, because that game can't really get expansion passes nowadays. And, and with that, this video is a wrap, I just wanted to say thank you. If you have other opinions, please comment down below whether you think Fortnite should, should or shouldn't be on the Switch. Thanks for watching.